Well, I want to just talk a minute about this uh, ice cube thing. Um, you know, I just got finished watching, uh, learning about this, and I watched uh, uh, his interview on Roland Martin, which, uh, yeah, I'm a white guy, and I watch Roland Martin because Roland Martin's... Uh, Show is a good show. I mean, it, uh, no bullshit show. So, uh, you know, if you, first you see the news and, oh, he's gone to the other side, you know. And I, I kind of knew in my heart that wasn't true because I've listened to uh, Ice Cube on many occasions. And it, not that he's affiliated with any par party, but he's always talking about, you know, the issues of the black community. Um, now, me personally, I, I, I don't want, I can't speak for the black community. I don't want to, um, I, um, pretend, you know, that I'm something that I'm not. I'm a, just a white, uh, came from a middle class family, grew up, you know, that way. But I'm in my seventies now. And um, I've seen a lot. I've heard a lot. Um, it's unbelievable what the uh, Republicans have done. This whole notion that uh, Democrats and Republicans, you know, are on some sort of equal footing is bullshit. Um, now, the timing of all this, you know, 20 days or so before an election I don't know that's that's kind of crazy um, but obviously to anyone who understands the Trump um, mentality you got to use two fingers for that um, knows they're going to spend whatever the hell they can to make themselves look good, and then I was I'm watching um, some of these, um, you know, and I, being a regular white guy, I can't say what I think really about these uh, conservative black dudes. I see, you know, the there's the Bobsy twins and the, uh, you know, that Candace owes somebody. I don't know. I, you know, I, I don't really know all their names. I don't really care. I don't want to know all their names. I don't really want to know too many people's names, actually. Um, but, you know, right is right. Um, Ice Cube was trying to present a an organized, you know, game plan so that, um, you know, the uh, black brothers and sisters Americans of this country... Um, you know, would can have some some sort of a plan that could be adopted by uh, the politics in Washington to help the black community. I mean, reasonable, totally reasonable. And um, since I was a kid in my early twenties, you know, and uh, protesting against the war in Vietnam, and I, you know, I went to. Uh, up to the Oakland and um, volunteered in some of the Black Panther stuff. Like uh, they had a lunch thing there, you know, and so I helped make sandwiches and, you know, whatever, you know, stuff like that from my youth. I've always believed that the civil rights movement was not just about black civil rights. It's about the civil rights of all Americans. So I've always supported it because, you know, I um, believe in my heart that um, by supporting the black civil rights movement, we're also supporting the civil rights of all minorities and, and us white people. You know, that... Um, all white people, whether regardless of what you believe. So I always thought it was a healthy, good 
idea for Americans, you know, to support um, the civil rights legislations and voting rights and, uh, um, you know, just like I support equal pay for equal work, just like I support a woman's right to control her um, own destiny, um, you know, it's all kind of in the same bubble. You can take part of that bubble and just say African American rights. That's totally fine with me. Um, but in general, I look at it like, us, you know, my civil rights could be possibly in jeopardy one day for whatever reason. So I want there to be really established civil rights laws that are like no contest. No, that's just the way it is. That's the way it's going to be. So whatever. Um, that's about all I got to say about that, except for that, uh, you know, the Trump machine coming out with uh, their kind of false statement that uh, well, all of a sudden they have the backing of uh, Ice Cube. You know, that's just typical for them to spin it like that. I think Ice Cube was doing his best to, you know, get his message across. Uh, it's just that simple. You know, sorry, you know, it, it is close to an election. Uh, the Biden campaign said they were, they wanted to look at it. Um, the Trump campaign, um, I guess, pretended like they were took a look at it I don't know um, and I get and apparently nobody knows because you know the Roland Martin thing uh, Ice Cube didn't really get back down to brass tacks as far as that part of it went and he was asked directly so whatever um, I have a lot of respect for Roland Martin and um, I have a lot of respect for lots of black people I met but like everyone else like every other group of people in, you know, our beloved country, there are bad actors and good actors, and then there's most of us that are just sort of in between, you know, putting one leg in front of the other, trying to earn a living, take care of their kids, watch their health, you know, pay their bills, do all the normal life shit that we all got to do. Um, but everyone who is an American citizen deserves the respect of our government and the, and our civil rights and all that that means, you know, from our Congress, from our president, from our, the judicial part, um, from our military, from the police. You know, there needs to start being respect for all Americans. All Americans have died in these crazy wars. Native Americans have died. Uh, Japanese Americans have died. Um, Jewish Americans have died. Um, uh, Latin American, um, ha Latin Americans have died. Um, and it goes on and on and on. All Americans deserve the rights, these rights. The black Americans being the forefront of this fight because they have been so badly mistreated, especially here in the South. Um, you know, great, great. I'm all for it because, like I said, it ensures my civil rights in the end. So I guess I'm selfish about it. All right, that's that's enough of that. I'm not going to, you know, I'm done.